Um, so what was it about Winthrop baseball program that made you want to play there? Um, so basically I started out um, in Florida and I was looking for Florida schools. Um, but as soon as I broadened my horizon and started playing out of states, played in Georgia, I got to uh, experience the coaching staff at Winthrop and they took me in and took me on campus and I fell in love with the campus. So uh, that's really how I became an Eagle, I guess. And what was your mindset going into the season trying to win a starting job? Um, my mindset going in was um, basically to just let my let let me be me, and I'll do and it'll do the rest for itself. I mean, I would I'm more of a quiet kid, but when it comes on the field, I just let everything out of me. Um, I just think that separates me from other people. And going in, I felt like a, I had to be a leader. You need that's what you need to be to, be, to start. And what were some of the adjustments you made making the jump from high school baseball to college baseball? Um, it's a lot. Um, the weight, the weightlifting programs are a lot different. Um, definitely got a lot stronger, and a lot bigger. Um, I do a lot more work individually than I would than I thought I would be doing, um, just because of the fact of the rules and everything like that. But um, just basically making sure that I'm on the right track personally with my game is basically what's going to help me best. And I know there's a lot of upperclassmen on the squad this season. Was there anyone in particular that kind of took you under their wing and helped you out? Um, yes, actually, Spencer Yankel. Um, I had a little bit of a miss, just a little bit of a problem at the end of a game. Uh, I made the last out of a game, and he came up to me after the game and told me, basically, I did this as a freshman. It's not a big deal. Um, shake it off. You have a thousand more opportunities as a college athlete. Um, and you're going to be just fine. So just don't let anything get to you. I took that, and I really use that as motivation just so because I, I know I have my brothers behind me. And the freshman, your freshman season is off to a super good start. You guys were 11-4 and four overall, and you actually earned Big South uh, player, Freshman Player of the Week honors. Um, what are your hopes for your sophomore campaign? Um, um, I hope to continue what I had going for me, honestly, during my freshman year. Um, I think just my mentality has got to stay the same. I just got to stay hungry. Um, just use every day as a stepping stool, I guess you could say. Um, I feel like building up from the fall to the spring is a very big jump. And once you're, be, once you're able to do that, I feel like you settle with the, with the pack just fine. So I feel like Continuing to do that into my sophomore season should be, should be exciting to watch. And how are you getting creative with your workouts while we're all stuck in quarantine? Um, so honestly, I've just been honestly working out bike riding a lot because it is very sunny and hot. Um, I did set up a little batting cage inside my garage so I could just take a little bit of swings. Um, I have a couple weights here that I've just been doing, um, just mostly cardio stuff just because I can't really get to a gym right now. So you were number 17 this season. Has that always been your baseball number? And is there any significance behind it? Um, no, actually. Um, I was number one in high school. But um, I went to Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland. And we had a um, high school shooting here. And 17 kids died here. So I decided to change my number to honor them. And just to know that I always have them on my back and always with me at all times. Wow. Um, so do you have any pregame rituals? Um, yeah, I do. Really, when we, um, when we all pray, um, as a, as a group, I usually just pray for them. And then before the game, um, I usually write, write J-O in the dirt, right in front of first base, um, just because it was one of my really good friends who passed away in the shooting. Um, that's, those are just my rituals, really, just praying by myself one time before every game. I find myself being alone in the, in the dugout, just thinking about things just before the game. A lot, of, a lot of emotions when, especially because opening day was on the 14th this year, which is the anniversary. So there was a lot of emotions going into there as well. And which teammate would you like to be stuck with during quarantine? Which teammate would I like to be stuck with in quarantine? Wow. <laughs> um, I would probably say Tyler Baker. Why? Because he's, he's a fun dude. I mean, he likes to he likes to goof around and be funny. I feel like time goes by faster when you're having fun, so I feel like that's the guy to do it with. 
And who's the worst texter on the team? Say again. Who's the worst texter? The worst the texter? <laughs> I'd probably have to say um, Joey. He's one of my, he's my roommate. Um, he, he just doesn't answer any, a single thing at all. He's more of a, I'll see you when I see you. I'll talk to you when I see you in person type of person. So I just don't even bother with it. <laughs> what is one talent that you wish you had? One talent that I wish I had. Um, lightning speed, I guess. I'm not the fastest guy, but um, I feel like if I was fast, super fast, I feel like it'd just make everything so much easier. And who's your favorite athlete and why? Um, my favorite athlete is Tom Brady, just because I grew up admiring him and just what he's done. Um, although I am a Patriots fan, I am disappointed about what happened. Um, my opinion still won't change. <laughs> And what is the strangest or most unique thing that you're kind of an expert on or know a lot about? Um, I know a lot about the baseball, the mental aspect of the game that people don't really know. I'm a very, very intellectual guy. I really like to study the game. I like to know everything that's going on with every position. Um, I feel like I just, I have that, that instinct and, and mindset that I know everything that's going to happen in the game and I want, I mean, I guess you could say I want the best thing to happen at all times. Okay. Well, thank you so much for talking to me today. It was great getting to know you a little bit better. I appreciate you guys talking to me. Have fun. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll talk to you later. Sounds good. I appreciate it. All right. It. Bye. All right.